Hi everyone, welcome back to the Neurodiagnostics Lab. Today we will learn how to properly apply EEG electrodes to a patient's scalp in preparation for recording the brain's electrical activity. Recall that we discussed the anatomy, physiology, and basic electronics of EEG in our lecture, followed by our fun Jeopardy game to help us master those concepts. We also read through the instructions on how to measure and mark the electrode locations on the scalp according to the 1020 international system. And we followed that up by measuring and marking the electrode locations on our styrofoam heads. So today we will solely focus on application of the EEG electrodes. Our objectives will be to identify the supplies needed for EEG electrode application, prepare the scalp for placement of the EEG electrodes, and apply gold cup EEG electrodes, resulting in electrode impedance measurements below five kilo ohms. So first, let's take a look at the supplies we need. Here we have a long Q-tip. We have some exfoliant gel, and this will be used to prep the skin. We have some conductant paste, which will, will be used to apply the electrode to the scalp and encourage conduction of ions from the scalp to the electrode. And then we, of course, have our gold cup electrode itself and some small pieces of gauze or any kind of tissue paper or towel will do as well. So here I have my patient and I've already measured and marked where my electrodes will need to be placed on the scalp. So I'll part the hair and begin to prep the skin right where my markings are. I'll apply a very small amount of exfoliant gel uh, to the Q-tip. And it's just about the size of a pea. That's how much exfoliant gel we need, not much at all. And I'll scrub the scalp using about the amount of pressure you would use to strike a match. I'll strike the match, so to speak, about 10 to 15 times which just helps to slough off any dead skin cells and clean off any oils or residue. Remember, your exfoliant gel can feel like sandpaper on the skin if you keep scrubbing for a prolonged period of time. So keep those match strikes to about just 10 or 15. Next, I'll apply my conductant uh, gel paste, I'm sorry, my conductant paste to the gold cup electrode itself. So we'll scoop the paste into the gold cup electrode just enough to fill the cup. We don't need a, a heaping scoop, um, just a level scoop. And remember, this is conductant paste. So any electrical activity that it's exposed to will be conducted to the electrode. So we don't want a large area of paste. We only want the paste directly underneath the electrode itself on the area that we marked on the scalp. And I'll apply the gold cup um, with paste to the patient's scalp, applying minimal pressure. Just until I see some of that paste protrude out of the hole in the center of the gold cup. And that tells me that the paste has filled the cup. The paste is sticky, but it's not glue and it won't harden. So it helps sometimes to place a small piece of gauze or tissue over that gold cup to keep it in place. Then I'll just apply a little bit of pressure here. And I'll take the edge of my electrode and I'll plug in my electrode and see what the impedance measurement is. So plugging it in. And remember, according to our national guidelines, we need our electrode impedances to be less than five kilo ohms. So as you can see, the electrode that we just placed is measuring an impedance below five kilo ohms, which is why it shows in green. If your electrodes are just above five kilo ohms in impedance, they show as yellow. And if they are far above five kilo ohms in impedance, they appear red. And here we have our patient and our EEG. So to review, the supplies we needed were a Q-tip, exfoliant gel, conductant paste, our gold cup electrodes, and small pieces of gauze or tissue. We first used the exfoliant gel to prep the skin using the Q-tip with, with the pressure of striking a match. Then we applied the gold cup electrodes to the scalp with just enough conductant paste to fill the gold cup itself. 
And if you wanted to, you could also wrap the head with some soft garment like an ace bandage to help secure the electrodes in place. Thanks for joining us in the Neurodiagnostics Lab. I'm looking forward to hearing about your experiences applying EEG electrodes and keeping those impedances nice and low. See you later.